Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at corridor side slope benching. And in this case, we're only going to use the stock subassemblies delivered with Civil 3D. In a future video, we'll take a look at how we can customize some of our benching subassemblies with the subassembly composer application. So let's get started. What we have on the file here is I have a section view over on the right displaying a corridor with just a left and right lane. In green, you can see the existing ground surface line. Each one of my vertical axes is five feet, just as a side note on my section view. On the right, I have a sample line that I can use to move my section view into varying degrees of cut for testing. And now when I zoom up to my assembly here, which this corridor is based on, so we can get started. I'm going to start by going to the tool palette on the home tab. And we're going to go down to the daylight. And there is a daylight bench subassembly built right into Civil 3D. If I right click and go to help on this guy, you can see I've got logic for cut and fill daylight benching with a lot of settings. If I select it and let's try it on the right side here, we'll place it and I'll hit escape. And if I select it and go to properties, you can see at the bottom, I can tweak all these settings, but basically I'm looking at a cut height of uh, 10 feet before I start benching and my bench is five foot and 2% slope. Of course I can control all the slopes, cuts and the bench slopes. Let's run it. I'm going to update my corridor, set my targeting. So I'm going to go to properties, right click properties, set all targets. 5,000 is my surface. And let's see, you can see that working just fine on the right side. If I go down and grab my sample line and let's change our station up closer to less cut, you can see it works there fine and in between. So that is a very powerful subassembly that you can use for benching. Now what I would like to take a look at is, okay, what if I want to make some of my own customizations? So I'm just going to show you the logic. I'm going to pretty much mimic what you we, what we just did here on the right side with this daylight bench. I'm going to mimic that on the left, just using our uh, conditional subassemblies, just to give you a feel for the logic. So I'm going to go back, zoom to my assembly. And we're going to start with the conditional. So I'm going to click on the conditional cutter fill. And we'll go to properties before we place it. And I want to change the layout to six foot and we'll do a four, uh, one on four slope. And this is going to be from zero to 10 foot of cut. We'll place it there and escape. So this will be my condition if uh, I'm in the zero to 10, which in this case, I just want a simple cut slope two to one. So I'm going to go place that on top of the, or at the end of the conditional. So I'm going to go to generic and I'm going to use the link slope to surface. And go to properties before I place and we'll just do a slope of two to one. And we'll drop it right on the end here. And escape. So this is a good time to test. You know, you can go change uh, or update your corridor and make sure that's working. So let's go properties, set all targets, got new targeting, rebuild. Again, we're gonna to need to change because we're in a lot of cut there. Let's move this up closer to no cut. And you can see on the left side, we're working just fine. So that conditional is working. So we feel good about that. Let's move our sample line back to more cut and now I'll jump back up to my assembly. So let's continue. Go back to my conditional cut or fill. We're going to take care of everything above 10 feet of cut. And I'll, before I place it, I'll go ahead and tweak the settings. We'll do 10 feet of cut all the way to infinity in this case. And I'll hit escape. So I'm not ready to test anything. I've just got the condition for over 10 foot of cut. What do I want to do? Well, I want to place two segments, a cut slope and a bench. So I'm going to go back to generic and we're going to first use the link slope and vertical deflection. Click that and we're going to use the slope of two to one. 
Vertical deflection of 10, that's our cut height, that's good. Escape to finish. Now we're going to do width and slope for my little bench. That's going to be a five foot bench. 2% is correct. So we'll place that and we'll hit escape. So now that will place those segments, anything above 10 feet, but that's it. We're not going to get anything seeking the surface. That's what we need to add. But one thing we can do here is we can repeat this process. Basically I can say, okay, when I get here, go ahead and look to see what my condition is. And from this point, Am I zero to 10? If I am, just put the simple cut slope. If not, continue and drop this in again. So let's do that. So let's basically select all of these sub-assemblies. I'm gonna go down to the vertex, right click, copy to, and click right on the end. So when we get to this point, we're gonna do our second test. Am I zero to 10 from there? I've cut, if so, if I'm in that range, if not, if I'm above, because we're still at infinity here from 10 to infinity, go ahead and start placing that again. Let's test it. Right click properties, set all targets, click to set all, rebuild. You can see it's placed at that particular section. Didn't quite make it, but that's okay. We're just progressing. Let's go and change our station. Now you can see on the left side, it is working. We placed a bench. But what if I wanted to work at this max cut way back here? Well, we continue the process, right? So I'm gonna go zoom to. We know what we're doing now. I'm just gonna select this series, pass the bench, right click, copy to. And one more time, select everything past the bench, right click, copy to. Escape. One more time, right click on the corridor, right click properties, set all targets. Got a lot new a lot of new targets here to update, rebuild. Now you can see even in the heaviest cut, we find our solution. So I hope this video has shown you a few methods for using stock civil 3D subassemblies to do your side slope benching on a corridor. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.